is living up to the nickname the Volunteer State since last week's wildfires in Gatlinburg. People from all over have been stepping up to help. Yeah, it's been amazing. And Chris so Winstead spoke with a group of some local students who say they're going to roll up their sleeves this week to get to work while also learning some valuable lessons. On Thursday morning, these students at Daniel Boone High School will be up bright and early. These ladies are really excited. We're going to leave at 6 in the morning from here and deliver a donation um, as well as volunteering our time for at least four hours. Six students with the Future Farmers of America and teacher <laughs> Leanne Turner are going to volunteer at the Sevier County Fairgrounds to help animals that were impacted by last week's wildfires. Uh, feeding, caring, walking dogs, uh, maybe helping to bandage some of the large animals and making sure that they have everything that they need while they're there at the fairgrounds. For senior Elizabeth Arwood, this opportunity is one she couldn't pass up. They are a major passion for us. All of us want to go into the animal industry and either be a vets or a vet techs or work in a veterinarian office. Turner says they want to help the animals that are often forgotten. When people are thinking about animals, they think about dogs and they think about cats. They don't necessarily think about the livestock animals and the, the farmers that were there whose livelihoods have been hurt because of the fires that occurred. Parents, students and members of the community also collected items to donate dog feed, cat litter. Students say they hope to take away one thing from all of this. We want to be able to go out there and help other people without feeling a need to receive something back and give with loving hearts. If you would like to volunteer your time in Gatlinburg, you can visit this website. It's mountaintough.org. There you can get all the details you need. You can donate your time, your money, items. And of course, if you need help, you can go here as well. There are different tabs, housing, shelters, employment, all sorts of stuff. You can find all these details again on mountaintough.org.